or a sheet of paper. Um, any paper. This is printer paper. And we're gonna. Um, I have a crease pattern for this. If you want to learn crease patterns, it's a pretty easy one to do. So you can look in the link in the video description if you want to see that. Um, but let's just start folding here. So fold in half. Oh, one thing, if you look at the crease pattern, then this is going to be the head, this is going to be, well, these the fingers would be here, and then the arm around there, and then the same on that side, but, well, just look at the crease pattern. So start by folding in half. I'm going to use a bit of water at the end, I think, to shape it. You don't have to, but I mean, I might not even do it, but let's see. Um, now let's fold in the fourths. If you looked at the crease pattern and seen it's it's box pleated, don't worry. If if you don't like folding grids, don't worry. We're not folding the grid. Uh, I personally don't have any problem with folding the grid though, but uh, I like doing other methods too sometimes. But this one is so easy that you're not gonna need a grid. That we're not gonna fold any grid. We're gonna make only the creases that are on the crease pattern, no extra openings. So we just turned it like this. We're gonna make a pinch mark on the midpoint. So let's. You can make this pinch mark anywhere. I'm just gonna make it on the side here. Of course, you have to fold in half. Maybe one more here. Now unfold. Now, whichever side, if you, I don't know, cut it wrong or something, decide which... I'm gonna make this part be where the fingers, I mean, the head is, and the arms. So, let's fold to the pinch mark. Right there. Unfold. Now, right here, this unit is going to be the uh, this section here is going to be taken up by. Uh, well, here's the pleats for the fingers. What we're going to do now is turn over, and then this is going to be a little tricky. Maybe if you're a beginner, but you're going to fold this going to push right there on this center crease and fold it like that. If you get that, the crease stops right when it meets this middle. Then we're going to bring this over until it aligns with the middle crease. And then we're going to crease. Uh, we can unfold that. Crease up. Okay, wait. Crease until you meet this fold. Now we've got this crease. These diagonals, just ignore them for now. Because you don't actually need them for this model. Let's repeat on this side. 
There we go. Now we've got these two lines. What we're gonna do now is fold this edge to this crease. The crease till you get to that point. That line. So if you're on the side, you should start if you're looking at the crease pattern, or at least looked at the crease pattern, you should you probably notice now. Now we're making these lines that were in the crease pattern. So these are the, the folds we need to make. What we're gonna do now is um, this is the white side. Turn over to the colored side uh, and make these mountain folds here. And then we're gonna make an inside reverse fold. Inside reverse folds along these lines. So mountain fold, valley fold, mountain fold, mountain fold, mountain fold. This would be valley, valley, mountain. So hopefully you got that. There we go. Now we have this. What we're going to do now is divide this into eighths. So I'm going to, I think I'm right, but I'm checking the crease pattern. Okay, I got the crease pattern right over there. So we're going to fold, uh, be careful not to make this layer slide. Fold this edge to this edge. Crease sharply. Unfold, pull this edge to that edge, unfold, now this step I'm not exactly sure how to do, well, what we're going to do is make this crease, we're going to make Hold the midpoint there. So maybe what I can do is bring this up and bring this crease to touch that edge and maybe this point align with that edge. And then of course these two edges here align. These two. So just check that. Check one thing. This is the colored side. Okay. Okay, I think I'm doing it right. Now, when we have this folded here, um, let's actually uh, let check right away. Okay. Here we have this. We're going to flip the whole thing this way. And then we're going to fold this mountain fold to that valley. So just fold in half like that. And then the same here. We're cleaving it. And just keep repeating. So point here. And then lastly fold this edge to that edge. So as you can see, we divided it into eight. 
repeat on this side. I'm gonna try to go through this really fast, or maybe I'll speed it up. Okay, I'm full. Now we have that. Now, uh, we could have done this earlier, actually. Unfold the whole thing. And you can really see the crease pattern now. I love that pool. Effect shadows and all that. What we're gonna do is fold this edge to that crease. Unfold. Fold this edge to there. Now the paper might be getting um might be uh, rolling or oh, it's the word. It's not flat. So make sure your creases are accurate still. Unfold. Now we're gonna have to reverse this crease. Or we could have reversed that crease too, but now fold it to there. That might be a bit hard with some kind of foil or something. Now let's just reverse that back to a valley fold, because that's what it was supposed to be. Turn the paper over and fold this edge to there. It's uh, a crease, I mean. Or, well, you could leave it folded too, but just pleat it just like we were doing with the other part. Pleat this up. And this is the white side. I wonder if saying white side no, that even matters anymore. I keep forgetting. Now let's unfold. Now the crease pattern, we've almost fully done it. All we're missing is the fingers there, so let's do that. Fold this. And then what we're gonna do is fold that little corner. Oh, that's not folded perfectly. Hmm. 
Oh, I'll, I'll show you on the side. Fold this little part to that one fold there. There we go, like that. Unfold. See, we've got one finger there, and then this one. We need to finish that. So, uh, fold along this valley fold. When you, you, it should look like that. And fold the corner here to that crease. Sure, where it fold it should be like that, and then just repeat again. Unfold, unfold, repeat everything on this side. I try to do it really, really fast. see the crease pattern is fully drawn in and this is the white side turn over to the colored side what we're gonna do is just pleat make all these pleats here until you get to there make all those pleats make the inside reverse folds here all those diagonals inside reverse fold them all same on this side like that. Now we're going to fold in half, uh, make this inside reverse fold, well, fold the quarters, and then inside reverse fold here. Uh, make a, a valley there. Let's just do, let's unfold actually. Now, it was like that. Unfold once. Fold in half. Now fold your quarters. this thing to have any diagonal folds. 
So maybe let's just make this all in one. Here, let's fold the quarters now. Inside, reverse. Ah, yeah, that's let's, let's do it like that. So we're gonna make these two diagonals. supposed to be a crease? Oh, I think that's just... Hmm. Well, let's just go like this and then just fold that in while we're inside reverse folding it. And it won't lie flat up here until we do the same thing to this side. Now, <coughs> It should lie, lie uh, flat. And I think you can sort of see it coming into place now. It kind of looks... Well, it makes me think of a ghost right now. But, oh well. What we're gonna do is... Open sync along all of those. Making, starting with this one. So, not fold along that there, and then of course make the diagonal folds. what's coming and then we're just gonna keep on going like that you could just speed through it like I'm doing skipping those extra flattening steps where you make it lie flat in between each one you can just quickly do it like this and that's what I'm doing in the end. And then just repeat everything on this side. I'm not going to explain it. So hopefully you understood what was going on in the beginning. But I don't really know. I'm not really going to explain it more than that. There we go. We successfully collapsed uh, um, uh, what's it called? 
the base, I think. Oh, back to the card side here. Now, it's pretty obvious that this is the head, these are the arms, and this is the body, but... Uh, I'm gonna take a little break here, maybe. Well... Here's the base. Next is the shaping, which is pretty easy and fast. I just think I need to remember how, because... It's been a while since I folded this model. I folded... I mean, I only folded it once, and that was a while ago, so... Let's... we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna take a small break right now, and I'll be right back in a second. What we're gonna do, this is the colored side. I'm going to hold it like this. Just push open that middle, middle, uh, uh, um, bleed? Whatever it's called, the middle part there. And then from the back, push up, and you should just unfold those two diagonals there. And then make a little mountain fold at the top. Okay, let me try to do a little bit. There, it'll look like that. Make a square, then we're gonna do that. Then we're going to just grab these two parts here and bowl at the top. Making that. And just make that valley fold in the back. I really hope you get what I'm doing. And then what we're gonna do is mountain fold here and valley fold there, and mountain fold here and valley fold there, like that. And then keep those folded, and we're gonna make add a mountain, a diagonal mountain fold there, like that. make a mountain fold up here, but actually, well, just a light one, don't really crease it. I'm actually not gonna put this in the crease pattern, I see why I didn't originally. So now we're just gonna take these and bring it down, and take this and bring it down. So you might have just gotten confused why you didn't see why, uh, you didn't see this part on the crease pattern, and that's because I'm actually not going to put it there. Because it doesn't lie flat. So I'm not going to put it there. So now this is open. Make the valley fold there. Go up, up until you get to here. Stick your finger in the back. Push it up, and we're going to make two little valley creases there. This is just however you want, very, uh not exact. It's wherever you want this. And I plan to do a second version of this where I add some eyes and nose and mouth. Probably like based on Eric Josel's. Eric Josel. I think that's the name. Um, his uh, dwarf. Probably I'll make it based on that. There are these little flaps here, I guess that could be part of it, but you can stick that down, whatever you want. So, I'm probably going to wet fold the last part of the head, just to get some nice shaping. So I already have my spray bottle out, but I'm not going to do that, that part yet, I'm going to work on... Let's do the arms. They're really easy, actually, just fold in half. Basically, I mean, you could pleat it here to make sleeve or something, but this paper is kind of thick, so I'm not going to do that. Just unfold till you get up to here, and then we're going to um, make an angle bisector right there with the mountain fold, through all layers, all layers. Off camera, okay, but you can't even really see. It's pretty
pretty thick. So it'll be like this. And then this flap will stick up there, just fold it that way. Kind of like that. And then spread out these five fingers, which I'm not going to do yet. And you could like make a little pleat there for like an elbow. Same on the side. I'm not going to explain it again. midpoint between these this, this edge and that center crease. Yeah, I know it's thick, but that's nice. And you don't really need wet folding actually, but I think I will wet fold it. Now obviously it's not gonna go to the end. Now this is the, the body part we're making, so Decide the length of the skirt and don't fold past that. So here I'm going to do it on this side too. It's kind of thick. Okay, let's do that here. Originally what I did was I just left it like that, but now that I know a bit more about shaping, what you could do is actually flatten out the skirt by making, well it's hard to explain, but if you unfold it like this, make a piece from there all the way up to there. It should be a, a valley fold. I don't know. I never tried it yet. So it'll be like that. Hopefully if you had if you have some more experience, maybe you'll know, but whatever. which I think I'll go with that. So just do that to all the layers. Make the skirt wider too. So 
so like with the original one like the skirt wouldn't connect in the back but with this one it probably will All right, there we go. Finally done. Well, I mean, this is not really that. Um, see, then you could curl it this way. Now, with this method, in the back, you can make them connect, which you couldn't do with the other method that I was using before. So I think this is going to need a bit of white folding. Just a bit, just to keep hold the shape. Now, I'll do the shaping off the camera, but I'll show you basically what you need to do. So that's all with the skirt and the body. And with the arms, you're just going to spread out these fingers. Like this. I'm pretty sure you can do that on your own. Just spread those out. And then all you need to do here is like just spread out this layers these layers here and kind of make curves just like kind of look like hair you know and then you can shape a bit on the top I don't know however you like but I think I'm going to stop here because the rest I'm going to leave up to you. 